Good morning. So I was asked in reference to yesterday's post uh, what happened when after the shower. So so basically, uh, I just defended myself. Uh, I wasn't even badly injured, even though this dude had like a uh, a shank. Uh, scarred my arm up a little bit, but the police came in. When the po I got the ass whooping I received from the police was more detrimental than the one that I got from my boy. And he didn't even beat my ass like he never punched me in my face. And it's just like he came at me with a shank. I defended myself. Luckily, I was not butt naked in the shower with soap in my face, or it just could have got really weird. And this would be a totally different story. But um, yeah, that's what happened with that. So what I'm gonna talk about right now is uh. How I, I had somebody ask me about the, the, the shirt that I had on. It was, it's called, well, it, what it says, it says, please stop killing black people in your music. And so my whole thing was like, a lot of times we listen to music. We listen to black people killing black people all the time. So it becomes the norm. And so somebody counted with like, you should be smart enough not to, you know, not to subject yourself to like the thoughts that the media or the entertainer or, or whatever source. And then like, I just started thinking about, man, you know, I was, I was affected by all forms of, um, all forms of media. Like at one, one point in time in my life, I thought the Cosby show and, um, a different world was just like, on Thursday night, this is what was going on. And I actually, I I, had, I ain't patterned my life after that, but because I used to watch the Cosby show, I wanted to be a lawyer. Like, in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna be an attorney when I grow up. Like, I got the mouthpiece for it. So, I'm gonna I'm go to college and I'm gonna be a lawyer. That's what I wanted to be. But I was heavily influenced by, by the Cosby show. And this was, mind you, this was pre pill popping bill. Allegedly. Um, so, I was affected by the Cosby show in a way where I, at one point in time, I thought I had a girlfriend. <laughs> I thought I had a girlfriend and she was not my girlfriend. But I only thought, like, she never told me she was my girlfriend. We never, we never even exchanged, <laughs> we never even exchanged phone numbers. I just thought she was my girlfriend because I had been carrying her books. <laughs> Mind you, I'm at Sequoia. I had been carrying her books from one class to the next class. And I just remember on on the Cosby show, Theo, uh, I think the girl name was Justine, he had been carrying her books and they went together. So in my feeble mind, I just didn't know. I ain't know. I had never had no girlfriend. I was a virgin. I ain't I wasn't talking to nobody like that. I ain't, I did not understand how the process went. <laughs> when I tell you this was the most embarrassing shit ever because I was confronted. And when I was confronted, it wasn't like I was running around and I'm telling a lie that I know that's a lie. Like in my mind and in my spirit, I was just like, shit, we go together. I've been carrying your books for like, bitch, I've been carrying your books since last Friday. This a relationship. What you, what the, <laughs> and then so, I ain't going to need say no name. I ain't saying no name cuz I and I wouldn't be embarrassed by this person. She she still attractive. Uh, but I just wouldn't even want to put nobody business out there like that. So one of my homeboys come up and he like, "Shit, you go over such and such." I'm like, "Yo." Shit, yo. Man. So <laughs> Oh man, can you imagine thinking that you're in a relationship with somebody, with, some, with, with somebody and they have absolutely no knowledge of it, and then like you confirming it? So then I was later approached. I think somebody was like, "Nah, man, y'all don't go together." And then I just started realizing. I was like, "Nah, we don't go together." And I don't, I don't remember specifically how the process went, man. I just remember. That, that being like a weird, a weird time. But like you young, you be lame. And uh well not everybody, some of y'all was in full fledged relationships and having babies and I wasn't, man. I was looking at the Cosby show trying to figure out how to stop having wet dreams. <laughs>